that 10 ohms resistance voltage value is uh, 0.094 and current value is uh, 1.65 after that calculate power power is equal to v into i next change the knob to 22 ohms resistance side and again take the voltage value in the voltmeter that is 0.082 Zero sorry, and I can take the corresponding uh, current in the ammeter that is one point six. So note down the values for voltage and current at twenty two ohms resistance that is zero point one six six and one point six two and no calculate power. After that change the knob to another value and take voltage and current like that uh, take the voltage and current at uh, different resistors and uh, draw a graph between current and voltage so take voltage and y axis and this is the curve obtained from the values and uh, draw a straight line along isc and along voc and that gives a rectangle which is represented with, with b and this is another rectangle at p maximum point so from that uh, fill factor is equal to area a by area b So compound pendulum. The aim of this experiment is uh, to determine the acceleration due to gravity using a compound pendulum. And the apparatus are compound pendulum, stopwatch, knife edge, meter scale, telescope. And uh, this is the formula. T is equal to this is g is equal to 4 pi square l by t square and where l is the equivalent length of the simple pendulum equivalent length to simple pendulum g is the acceleration due to gravity and this is the graph for compound pendulum action distance of the knife edge from a fixed point on x axis time period on y axis and gives two curves as shown and this is another graph for a equivalent length and t square and this is the metal bar consisting of uh, number of holes that is it consists of 20 holes and this is the knife edge So place the knife edge in the first hole of metal bar and this is the timer and this is telescope. At first sustain this metal bar vertically with the knife edge on a horizontal rigid support as shown so at first place the knife edge at the first hole and suspend as shown after that give a small force and uh, set that compound pendulum into oscillations now find out the time for 10 oscillations observing through the telescope so observing through the telescope 
calculate the time taken for tenal solution so after that place the knife edge in the second hole and again you a small force now again calculate time for tan oscillations observing through the telescope now for the second hole these are the time periods for trial one and trial two like that uh, take the time period for tan oscillations by placing the knife edge into different different holes up to 20 now calculate the distance of the particular hole from this point fixed end so this is the distance of the fifth so this is uh, for tenth hole that is the distance and again after that uh, take the distance of the eleventh hole from this fixed end this is the eleventh of the twelfth like that uh, calculate distance of each and every hole on this metal bar from a fixed end and the note down the distance in the tabular form and after that draw a graph between uh, distance of the knife edge from that fixed end and uh, corresponding time period on y axis so two curves are obtained as shown this is the first curve and this is the second curve and it obtains from 1 to 10 and this is from 11 to 20 holes and this is the formula l is called equivalent length so to get the equivalent length first of all draw three horizontal lines at three time periods as shown so this is the first line at t1 and this cuts the curve first line cuts the curve at four points a b c d and from this calculate and again this is the second horizontal line cuts the curve at four points a dash b dash c dash d dash and this is again it is that it is also getting the curve at four points okay, at first calculate ac and bd and ac plus bd by 2 gives the equivalent length at uh, time period t1 and again at time period t2 a dash c dash plus b dash d dash by 2 gives the equivalent length at t2 in a similar manner calculate the equivalent length at t3 now this is the tabular form this is time period note down the time period and uh, write the corresponding uh, equivalent length that is uh, ac plus bd by 2 at different t values So at a time period uh, at time period t1 t2 t3 so first to calculate the square of those particular values t1 square t2 square and t3 square and at a t1 square note down ac value from the graph and bd value and ac plus bd by 2 gives the corresponding equivalent length at uh, t1 so this is from this graph calculate ac and bd and the note down ac plus bd by 2 which gives the equivalent length that is represented with l1 and again at t2 calculate a dash c dash b dash d dash and calculate l2 
a dash t dash plus b dash d dash by 2 and again at uh, t3 also follow similarly and calculate corresponding equivalent length at t3 and this is the Albert e square column and uh, now draw a graph between L and t square and it gives a straight line passing through origin. Now take a L value and corresponding T square value from the graph and put it in the formula to get G value from graph. Again here small precaution and main precaution is uh, so after placing into different holes that is of the second hole, third hole, fourth hole like that uh, place the knife edge up to 10th hole and calculate the time taken for 10 oscillations and after completion of the 10th hole just reverse the metal bar and place it in the 11th hole and take the time period as shown next after that place that in the 12th hole and next 13th hole up to 20th hole next sonometer sonometer <coughs> the aim of this experiment is to verify first and second laws of transverse vibration of a stretched string so operators sonometer tuning forks rubber hammer, matter scale, weights. First law. So, once you say n is equal to nl equal to constant that is uh, verification of first law and second law is root t by l is equal to constant. So, where n is upload frequency, l is uh, 